guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is the vlog of all vlogs. This is my kind of video and it is an organization vlog. I'm really excited. I have been waiting to film this. I've been getting all the supplies that I need and we're gonna go hard on organizing my pantry, my pots and pans. I got everything that I need to do it right and make it aesthetically beautiful. So I'm really excited that I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna run to the store, go grab a few things that I need to get. I'm missing a few things. And then we're gonna do this thing together. Sitting by the window because it just got so cloudy and the lighting is better over here um, but I'm hoping it brightens up so that we can go over to the kitchen and organize I did not start this vlog like I wanted I got ready this morning I made coffee made our bed said goodbye to Sam all the things and I was running really late and I went and got my nails done so I wasn't able to like get ready this morning I literally brushed my hair brushed my teeth and went out the door so I definitely don't feel ready for the day so we're gonna get ready and then we'll go out to go get all the stuff and then we'll start organizing but before we get started I want to thank today's sponsor which is native you guys know I really struggle with hyperhidrosis. What comes with hyperhidrosis is sweating. And what happens when you sweat? You smell really, really bad. Like, I'm not kidding. It can be so embarrassing. I hate it. So it's really important to me that I have a deodorant that smells good, keeps me fresh, and that is why I love Native. So Native is a clean and aluminum-free deodorant, which I really, really like. What I love about it is that it's not sticky. It dries really fast, so it's really easy for on the go, especially during these summer months. So like I said, it is aluminum free but it's also paraben and sulfate free which is really good so this is what the packaging looks like super cute what's really comforting to me is that they have very familiar ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil in here and not to mention it's vegan and cruelty free and something that I love is the scent it smells so good so this is the coconut vanilla definitely my favorite I am a coconut vanilla girl that is like my go-to scent and then I also have a few more. This is the Cucumber Mint. This is a very good, like, neutral scent. Sam even wears this. And then I also have Lavender Rose which is like a florally scent. Definitely a little girly, but I like it. So like I said, I tend to smell really bad, but what I love about Native is that it stays all day, even after working out or just a full day, I don't stink, which I really appreciate. And they don't just have these scents, they have a wide range of scents and they just released some new summer scents. Native also offers plastic-free versions of their deodorant, so it's the same product, just in a more sustainable packaging, which is really cool. And another thing that I love about Native is that their brand that gives back. Last year they donated over two million dollars worth of deodorant to a nonprofit called Hope and Comfort, which I think is really cool that they're supporting the community. So Native has more to offer than just deodorant. They also have body wash and toothpaste. We use this body wash. It's a great neutral scent. I have it in eucalyptus mint. And then they have this toothpaste that is charcoal with mint. I'm picky about my mint flavors with my toothpaste, but this one, it's a good one. I'm telling you, just trust me, it's a great one. So with Native, three deodorants are normally at $36, but if you use my link and my code JacquelineB, you can get three deodorants for $24, so that's 33% off. Just go to the description box. And if you guys want other products like their body wash or their toothpaste, my code will get you 20% off of those. So highly recommend checking it out. I'll leave everything in the description box down below that you need to know. So with all that being said, let's get ready for the day. I'm going to hop in the shower, not going to wash my hair, but clean off, get dressed, put on some deodorant, and head out the door. Here's the situation. Before we go, I wanna show you guys what organizational things I do have. I also wanna show you our current pantry situation. Um, so I do have this basket. I've just had this for a while. I've had this basket for a while. So this is, this is stressing me out. And then we also have these cabinets just full of stuff. I've got like a ton of these cute jars. They're just mixed within the like mess and it doesn't look cute so my goal is to make it look cute the second situation that i'm hoping to organize is our pots and pans under here um i got one of these racks but this thing doesn't fit so i got another one off of amazon and we're gonna try and organize that but i feel like the counter is looking pretty good 
Um, oh, I got these fresh eggs and it makes me so happy. And then I actually just got this from Target. I want to put our fruit in here because right now it's right there. But I'd rather it be out on the counter just like easy access. I'm not sure if this is too big. So we'll see. So right here I've got things that I have gotten so far to help organize there so i got these from um tj maxx actually today three dollars each i feel like that's a steal i feel like these would be good for like bars and snacks and stuff i don't know and they're really deep which our pantry is super deep but because our pantry is so deep i also got this we'll see if we use it but this is from target and then for the pots and pans i got this little thing off of amazon what I like about this one is that it's adjustable. Then I also got these from Amazon. These are like drawer organizers. They like go, how do I explain that? They expand, there we go. And then you can like put them in the drawer to kind of create like divides. The last thing are these super cute bins that I also got from Amazon. And they are like this. I think they'd be, oh my thumb was stuck in it. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these. We'll figure it out. But that's what I've got so far. So I'm gonna kind of take inventory of the pantry and see what other things we need. But I don't even know where to start. Okay, I ate lunch and now I've made a list of everything I need from Target. So let's head to Target. At Target, forgot my list. So we're just gonna have to go off of sheer memory here and hopefully I get everything, hopefully. I am back from Target and all the stuff I got <laughs> was the majority of stuff that I didn't need for organization, but that's just how it works when you go to Target. I literally only got these three things. Um, they really didn't have much and I was a little sad. Yeah, here's my list. Did I forget anything? No, I didn't forget anything. So I'm gonna start by taking everything out of the pantry and laying it out here so I can see what we've got to work with. I just cleaned all these shelves out and now I'm going to vacuum them. organize it by category so snacks with snacks baking with baking because I need to decide what goes where we had snacks here which I feel like is pretty good because I reach for that a lot and then like cooking stuff here Ugh, I don't know I just organized everything by what makes sense in my mind that's snacks cans nuts breakfasty stuff and then like cooking stuff and then this is all of the eligible organizing things that i have i think i'm going to keep snacks here this was a good spot and then i'm going to keep like cooking stuff up here and then the rest down here i'm not really sure what needs to go where i think what i am going to start with is filling up the jars and stuff so i'm going to take things that i know need to go in jars and put them in there pantry so more to do but this is what I did so I used this shelf to put the cans up back there these are just things that are in jars um, I just think it looks really pretty these two are like you actually snack on other things are like rice oatmeal popcorn seeds this is our snack 
cabinet and I really love it. Clearly I love candy if you can't tell. And then I put popcorn back there and crackers back there and then these are like just on the go snacks. I like having things out because I can grab them just like so much easier and it looks nicer than boxes. Then down here I put any cooking stuff. So this is like cornmeal and stuff like that, panko, and then this is like all of our noodles and pasta. I didn't know where to put peanut butter, so I put it here. This is pawn, which is like a Hispanic um, flour is how I would describe it. And then down here, I just put our water bottles, like tea stuff, and then I've got like this candy that's from Colombia that Sam's grandparents brought us that I put down there. And then up there, I just put our Lucky Charms and then our extra bag of popcorn. So I think we are good to go on the pantry, which feels very accomplishing. And another little side note, I didn't even use these bins from Amazon, so I think I'm gonna return them. And if you guys are wondering, I will link everything down below. All of this stuff is listed on my Amazon storefront. So if you're ever wondering like where anything is from our apartment, it's probably on there. I get a lot of our stuff from Amazon. I wanna do like an Amazon favorites video here soon. Now, a few other things I wanna organize is under here where the pots and pans are. And then up here, I started doing this other day, but I made these little, where to go? But I have these little things and I made the labels for them. It says olive oil and I think they're really cute. I need to organize this. And then in a later vlog, I plan on like organizing all my spices. I bought the little like matching, they almost look like this, matching little cans for them. And then I'm gonna get some labels off of Etsy so that they all match. I just know it's a big task, so I will do that another day. But I do wanna get this top part organized. It's all of the like cooking sauces that I have, just like random stuff, but I want like my go-tos to be on here and nice and organized. situation here with our pots and pans um you can see back here we've got a few stacks but that stacker from bed bath and beyond it's not adjustable and it doesn't fit at all so i got this adjustable one from amazon but as you can see it only shows it laying down not standing up so i don't know we'll see if it works or not i'm really not sure but i'm gonna take everything out and then kind of reorganize from there this is what I did it's okay I'm not in love with it but I feel like it also gets the job done so I put the lids um, on that rack and then here are two nonstick pans and then I put our cast iron down here Then I put the rest of our like sterling silver pans here with This one's lid and then this is like a splatter screen and then up there is stuff. Wow. Is that wood bending or is that just me? So that makes me feel a little bit better I do keep my Dutch oven out on the counter just because it's really pretty. I'm really excited because I'm getting a gold knob to go on here um but yay, that makes me feel so much better that that's done because that has been so just like disorganized and stressful. But now it's nice. Everything has a place. I wanna show you guys what I did with our closet. So right now, me and Sam are sharing this, wow, that's embarrassing, um, this dresser. So this side is mine, that side is his. But I hardly have like, it's really unorganized, but I can't really fit everything in here. And normally I keep my jeans in a dresser. So I decided that we were gonna hang our jeans, but I didn't wanna hang them like by some hangers. So I got these S hooks off of Amazon and this is from, who did I see this from? Um, I think Morgan Yates did this in her closet and I was like, I think I was watching one of her Amazon favorite videos and that's what she had in there. But look. Wow, talk about like pleasing. Let me step over here. So that's where our jeans are. We're currently in the process of switching over our hangers to these black ones. I really like the velvet hangers 
So as you can see, I started, but I have not finished. That's just one of those things. It's a very long process. So every once in a while, like if we're sitting down watching TV, we'll just grab like a handful of clothes and switch them over. Um, Cause we're really in no rush to do that. I need to buy more stuff to organize up there because nothing is organized. Everything's just kind of thrown somewhere. We're getting more shoe shelves because right now all my shoes are in a box still. So I definitely feel like my life is kind of cluttered, but at the same time I'm like slowly decluttering it all, if you know what I mean. I don't think I ever showed you guys, I don't think, I might have in a different vlog, but I don't remember editing it, but I don't think I ever showed you guys our... Um, laundry room closet hold on let me put this up so this is our laundry room more like a closet but sam installed these like shelves from home depot and now we have plenty of storage in here i'm really thankful because before we just had like our detergent on the ground and it was a mess and then we had nowhere to hang the dyson what's nice about this is that it charges while it's on here so the cord runs all the way back there then we hung our mop and then that ladder that i was just using is behind there and then our hang drying rack which whenever we use it i just put over there in that corner and it fits perfect i love this because it's very organized it's everything that we need while i'm doing laundry it's super easy to put up and down stain remover and then our extra like bath tissue stuff the next thing I'm going to organize is in here. Um, I just want to kind of get my drawers set and organized, so I think I'm going to work on that. Okay, so this is where I think I'm going to use these expandable drawer organizers, which you will see. Yeah, it just works like this. So you just put it in, and, it, and then you lock it in place. That is how it works. I put it a little higher because I want it to be high enough because I know the clothes like won't slip under anything. But I think I'm going to put like leggings here, workout tops, and then shorts here. And then all of this down here is just like my sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff, which that needs to be folded. But let's see how this works. I'm very excited because my next vlog is going to be me decorating. I've got a lot of little things that I've been saving for that video and one of them, I'm going to start painting this guy. I went and got paint from the paint store and then I'm going to work on decorating this area. I'm going to decorate our like little thing. And then we got new pillows and all sorts of new stuff. I'm gonna add the prints in there. I am very excited for that video, so stay tuned for that. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this organizational vlog. I know I have. I feel so much better with those things nice and organized, and I know there will be plenty more to come. And be sure to stay tuned for that decorating vlog. That's gonna be, I'm filming it on Thursday, and today's Tuesday, so that will be really fun. Um, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to start making dinner. Sam is going to come home soon. I feel like he's not been in the vlogs much, but I'm sure once he starts working from home again, he will be. He's just not right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again to Native for sponsoring that portion of the video. Don't forget to use my code for 33% off. I'll have all the info you need to know in the description box. I love you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.